war. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because of my time in the army taught me one thing. It's that war. War never changes. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hun. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Hey, hon. I'll just be a minute. Sir, your coffee, 173.5 degree Fahrenheit, 
Thanks, Kazuwa. Of course, sir. Enjoy your coffee, sir. Nuka Cola, ice cold. Looks like the milk got delivered. Huh? Can't believe it's almost Halloween. Oh, Need to finish stick. making Sean's costume. Hmm. You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. Hey, Codsworth. I'll be sweeping up the floors later. Hun. Nervous? Don't be. Everyone's gonna love the speech. Can you get that? It's probably that salesman. Good morning! vault calling. I am referring, of course, to our great national path. Go on. Nice to find you, sir. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. I'm here now. So you are. <laughs> so you are. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, uh, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. I'm a little busy right now. Oh, of course, of course. This won't take but a moment. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Need to make sure you're cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of, uh, <coughs> total atomic annihilation. Now, I can't wait for the world to end. Ha-ha! <laughs> That's the spirit. Now, let's see. and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. In five, four. Let the boy go. 
residents must vacate immediately. Giant roaches? What the hell? Where is everyone? Terminal somewhere.
This can't be happening. This isn't happening. Isn't happening? What are you talking about? Oh my, but you look distraught. Oh, perhaps the missus can offer one of those hugs you humans are so fond of. Hmm? Speaking of which, where is your better half? She can't be dead. She can't be. I'm in a dream. I'm in a bad dream. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? It doesn't make sense. There's just no reason someone would take my son. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> no. No, that's not possible. I wasn't out for that long. Not 200 years. A bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give or take a little. For the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. A snack? I... I don't know. I'm not sure of anything right now. Then I'll be right back. I'm coming, buddy. So 
sir. Ah, here you are, sir. Now, I've been thinking, if something is amiss, your loved ones may simply be hiding from the Red Menace. Or maybe evil leprechauns. I have an idea. Let's search the neighborhood together. After all, the Mrs. and young Sean, they're, they're my family, too. I don't know, Codsworth. I follow me. <laughs> What's all this then? Sean's out there, Codsworth. I need to find him. What about Concord, sir? Plenty of people there. And last I checked, they only pummeled me with sticks a few times before I had to run back home. I like these people already. Oh, good! Maybe you'll get along then, and they can help you find young Sean. I shall remain here and secure the home from. by yourself. You seem like an okay guy. Okay then, let's stick together.
are almost through the door. Grab that. Just get the hell out of here. We got no reason to hang around and get shot. Stop being such a fucking pansy. We hold out for the others, like we're supposed to. That will <laughs> shit to deal with. You hear that? I gotta go take a little walk. I'll poke. Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minuteman. Maybe? Nope. I'm just passing through. Fair enough. But the enemy of my enemy God is my friend, it. right? And those raiders want us all dead, including you. changed so much. None of this makes sense. You all right? Listen, we need your help. And then maybe we can help you, huh? What brought you out here? Looking for an infant boy. He's been kidnapped. Yours or tracking for someone else? 
Used to be a lot of families in this group. More than a few missing relatives. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. First it was the ghouls in Lexington, and now this mess. Tough break. You don't know the half of it. Anyway, nope. we figured Concord would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But, well, we do have one idea. Let's hear it. Sturgis, tell him. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. That's some serious protection. Oh, it gets better. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Huh. Could work. It'll work. Provided we can reactivate the suit. It's totally out of juice. Probably has been for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. I don't know if I can help you. What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement. Locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. I don't know. We'll see. Well, it's not a no. Look, if you can get to the fusion core, jack it into that power armor, and grab the minigun, then those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. <laughs>